Greetings everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Beta 18 Where, just to get this out of the way, I, I have succumbed and uh, to be completely transparent We have a Lao tool. I couldn't live without it. Again, I feel that this is a mod that was actually intended to be vanilla in the game just hiding and forgot to add her in so a modder very kindly put it back in as it was as it was meant to be uh this is for all intents and purposes now a vanilla plus playthrough it is practically vanilla for all intents and purposes we just have a few quality of life enhancements and my intention at the moment beyond allow tool which gives us things like whole urgently um unfor unforbid everything and now that one is the chief reason why i like uh, allow tool because in a raid you will often have dozens of different items strewn about that you have to in many cases uh, manually unforbid one at a time this is just a massive massive help uh, so we do have this in there it doesn't change the game in any functionally um important way it just makes certain things a little bit easier for us now with that said and done it is time for us to rename gonzalez the cat killer uh, I w I've got to be honest, I was of two minds when this name was selected by Chaotocles because it's actually the name of a friend from school and, and she was a lovely, lovely person. And so renaming a cat killer, uh, this name, uh, I wasn't really certain, but uh, Chaotocles has spoken. So, Gwen Xi'an, welcome to the colony. There you go, Nightjar. Your name suggestion has been used. And Gwen Xi'an is quite a fitting name for other reasons as well. Now then, with that done, the first thing I would like to do in today's episode is to sort out my area down here. We're going to take away that entire path. Uh, we're going to continue building this out because I, I just want to round the edges uh, effectively on these buildings wherever I can. I'm sure we'll actually, some of these rooms will become much, much bigger. Uh, yeah, well, no, that one can stay there, I think. Uh, yeah, that should be, that should be fine. And we'll then get rid of this one and a bunch of the walls on the inside, like so. Along there as well. Get a, a little, little nook there. Actually, you know what? We're going to take this one. Hmm. We could take it all the way down or we could leave it like that uh i'm not sure on that one actually uh i feel a little bit uh of two minds there i think we'll take it all the way down yeah sure uh in here we'll have this little little nook there with a bed can sit and down there we'll have a, a little area as well it'll look lovely when it's all done minor break risk lily basing board uh let's have a look at you uh rebuffed by ferret oh no the shaman turned you down ah oh. I, I guess that would be quite quite upsetting, to be honest. Uh, disturb sleep, eight without a table in darkness. These things will get better. I promise. There is a table in there. You can go. You can go and rest in there. Uh, let's add a torch over here, though. Is this? Uh, it's actually fairly warm as is. So maybe we won't add a torch. But we will add a flower pot or two just to make things nicer. Now, another thing that I'm somewhat concerned about is how open this area is. We were lucky with the first raid, but it doesn't mean that we're going to be lucky with the second. So, the first thing I would like to do is start limiting uh, enemies' options for movement around this area. I would generally like to limit how they can they can move. I don't want them moving freely. I want to control access to various areas and also make it increasingly difficult for them to navigate uh, around our base unimpeded. So our own people can just slip through doors to get away. They can use shortcuts to appear on another side and maybe attack or flank the enemy. But the enemy would have to do a lot more to uh, maneuver around. Um... Unfortunately, due to the, the the presence of all of this mud and marshy soil, it is a lot harder for us to do. For example, we could have some sort of area here, which would encourage people to move down that way or move through here. Basically, all we're trying to do here is to control how people want to move, as that will give us a significant advantage in combat. Uh, we can have 
a door over there, for example, a door there. And this way, for example, if someone is attacking this door, we can pop out there and attack them. If someone's attacking these doors, we can pop out there and attack them. It just gives us flanking opportunities also. We can just move up and around. Uh, likewise, if someone is engaging in a ranged battle here, we can flank them by getting up there and we'll have a, a nice clear shot straight down. On that note, we do need to do a bit of work in clearing out a lot of these trees. Now, there's one way that we can do that very quickly, and that's by setting up a grove and then just telling them not to sow. They will then chop down trees as and where they can, which would be useful to us. Uh, can I set this as a grove zone? It looks like I can, actually, which is great. Sure. Let's go ahead with that, then. I would like this grove... Don't sow. No, and... Uh, what types of trees are these? That's maple tree for the most part. Uh, I don't think it actually matters. No, it doesn't. As long as I don't tell them to sow anything, they'll they'll happily just chop everything down. So what we're going to do here then is we're going to expand this zone pretty much around the entire outside of the colony just to get rid of everything that's out there. A wanderer has joined. A villager named Reisling has arrived and is joining the colony. She is an involuntary hermit. An involuntary hermit, I believe it should be. I may be wrong, though. I can't say the English is my strong point. In fact, I've already had a cutout like two times where I just randomly started speaking Welsh because I'm talking to Gwanclian. And my brain immediately, immediately associates talking to Gwanclian with talking Welsh because we went to Welsh school together. Um, in fact, I don't think I've ever heard her speaking English. I'm not even sure how she would speak English. She'd probably sound very, very weird to my ears if she started. Uh, right, let's have a look. Uh, wrong person, sorry. Reisling, you are you are a youth delinquent. Reisling was the only child of celebrity sommeliers. Her parents expected her to take up the family profession, but after her third admission to a youth detention centre, this career path became unlikely. While in detention, Reisling became skilled at making shanks and developed an interest in ornithology. And an involuntary hermit, Reisling's escape pod was jettisoned onto an unexplored region of a frontier world. She eked out a lonely existence with only a herd of buffalo for company. Oh, fantastic. Well, you're automatically a, uh, a good find for the gavel of vengeance. Later, she was spotted clad in pygmy wombat furs, discussing the importance of hoof hygiene with a group of elderly buffalo. And it seems completely reasonable to me. Uh, doctoring is disabled, art is disabled, and cleaning is disabled. That's a bit of a shame. But uh, you do have a burning passion for cooking. Marvellous. And you're actually fairly good with crafting. You're a pyromaniac. Oh, my lord, that is a terrible thing for this colony. Riesling loves fires. She will never extinguish a fire. To relieve, relieve stress, she will occasionally go on a random fire starting spree. This happens more often if her mood is low. Hmm. Greedy. Riesling needs a really impressive bedroom. She gets a mood loss if she doesn't get what she wants. And trigger happy. Pew, 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 pew. Riesling just likes pulling the trigger. She suits faster than others, but less accurately. Muffalo, uh, muffalo uh, friendship aside, I'm a little bit concerned, I'll be honest. <laughs> and by a little bit, I mean really concerned. Uh, okay, well, for the time being, we do have uh, a bed for you. All right, let's uh, get you set up. Uh, you can be on the the day crew, that's fine. Patienting, bed rest. Now, hauling as a three is there for those who, if I tell someone to haul something as a priority, I kind of want them to drop whatever they're doing and do that thing. Um, that being said, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to increase the priority over what their current hauling is. So if they've got a three, it'll become a two. If they've got a four, it'll only become a three. And that seems reasonable to me. Uh, right, flicking, that can be a four as well. Cooking, though, hmm. I mean, you've not got a great deal of skill in it, but that can be, yeah, we'll have a three because of the issue with you cooking Particularly bad meals. I'm going to give you a three here. That's fine. You can you can help out and actually morph in. You've got a fairly low skill. In fact, we've got a couple of people with low skill here. Uh, I'm going to tell you to stop constructing now. We've got enough constructors. Growing you shouldn't be doing if you're not good at it. Uh, plant cutting. We'll go ahead and anyone who isn't growing is going to get a plant cutting of four. 
and anyone who does grow will get a plant cutting equal to the priority that they grow at. However, very, very nice down here. Very nice indeed. You are better than our primary crafter, so I'm actually going to give you primary on crafting for the time being. Uh, until they catch up a little bit, but that, that is really, really quite good. Very good indeed. Extremely happy with that. In fact, Morphin, we can probably take you off crafting at this point. And the same for fillings. You, you don't need to. We've got enough people who can craft at some uh, level of skill as is. So there we go. Let's uh, carry on now, people. Breakfast time in the colony. Oh, it's wonderful to watch them all just like filter and grab their, their meals and eat together. That actually is working really, really well. I'm glad that we've split up the colony a little bit so that we've got uh, day workers and night workers. That actually really does help. And I just noticed I missed a bit with adding a grow zone. Let me uh, flesh that out. There we go. That should keep everything going well. We've got plenty. They're, the other thing is they're actually harvesting. Ooh, metal break. Insulting spree? No! Kuro is on an insulting spree because they were buffed by fillings. Ah, it's just not the time, Kuro. It's just not the time. Okay, let's have a look at your needs. Uh, rebuffed by fillings. You've actually got a lot of negatives there. So, though, that being said, your, your mental state isn't that low. I guess it is below the 35%. The what are you doing then? Insulting Avak. Oh, that's just a mean. So mean. And Avak's such a kind psychopath as well. You're just going to move around just constantly insulting him. Yeah, just stacking them up. You've been directly insulted. What an awful person Kuro is. I know, right? My lord. Is that all Kuro's going to do? No, they're going to Morphin as well. Well, that's just horrible. Morphin, don't listen. Don't listen, Morphin. A uh, meteorite. A large meteorite has struck ground in the area and left uh, behind a lump of compacted steel. Well, that's quite nice. Uh, this will just regularly drop off steel, which is actually super, super useful. There's a load of blood over here. Whose blood is this? I can't find out, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, there's blood over there. Hmm. Who was wounded up here? Was it one of the animals we were hunting? I can only imagine so. How are we doing for food? We're not actually doing that great. Herd migration. Gazelles. A large herd of gazelles is passing through the area. They won't attack unless provoked. Wow. Really tempted. Super duper tempted. Oh my lord. Okay, temptation erased. A group of tribes, people from the Grey Rock Concord, have arrived nearby. They're probably gazelle hunters. They've been tracking this group of gazelle for a long time. And seeing it pass through our territory, they realized that there was a chance that we might hunt the gazelle. This is our territory, after all. They they, they weren't aware. It's, it's been a little while since the last time they, they roamed these areas, since the last herd of gazelle passed through, as it happens. And since then, we've sprung up a camp. Now, maybe it's a territorial dispute, or maybe they just that desperate for the meat they can't risk the chance that we would lay claim i can understand this they'll prepare for a while and then attack okay let's have a quick look that gives us a bit of time to uh, prepare we've got three uh, no four range combatants and two close quarters combatants mm. uh as it happens uh, that might be pretty nasty for us but we have set up a bit of area here guaxian don't break really don't break we need we need to sort that out uh i'm thinking what we could do, let's go ahead and have a look at production, a crafting spot. We can pop a little crafting spot just in the corner there, and then maybe make some things for Guanxian. Let's have a quick look at this. We've actually got a couple of things we can do. Guanxian, fairly certain that you're much better, like we can make a recurve bow. 40 wood, oh, and, and yeah, just makes a recurve bow. Hmm. Go ahead, make me one, I'd like to see what it does. Like how it differs from a regular item. Actually, we can have a look here. Uh, so, melee damage per second in 5. Range 32. Damage 14. Mm, uh, fairly normal wind-up, honestly. An advanced recurve bow. Its construction behaves like a tuned spring, storing energy more efficiently and delivering a faster shot. Ooh, okay, I'd like a couple of these, actually. Maybe even four. Uh, next up, we can get some tribal wear. A war veil. What? These are amazing. Tribal headdress. Oh, this is... Oh, and Psychoid Pokoi. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. A drug production speed, a skill, intellectual. Um, okay, well, what does it do, though? Let's uh, actually make one of these and have a look at it. We need Psychoid leaves for this one. A fragrant tea. Well, I know what we're going to be specializing in. Which can be drank to induce a weak euphoric effect, like all teas. Very easy to produce, but be wary of addiction. How addictive is it? Only 2%. No, no, it's fine. 
It's fine. Tea addiction is not an addiction, really. It's just a way of life. Uh, we will we will set up an area for cycling production. Oh my lord! Uh, but let's have a look at all of these things. I'm going to add one of all of them just to see what they do. But we do need uh, some tribal wear. So tribal wear. Let's have a look. A garment crafted without machines using Neolithic tools. Torso, left leg, right leg should be good enough. Uh, we actually need that one to be made as it happens. Uh, let me actually have a quick look. If we choose to do until we have, are there any special ones? No, there aren't. That's a bit of a shame. Because honestly, that really helps. The, one of the mods added that I could check if people were wearing it, which would have been useful. But for the time being, we'll, we'll just make one. And I would really like this to be made as a matter of high priority. Tribal headdress. Let's have a look at you. Elegant traditional garb, often with religious significance. Improves social impact. Well, we know who's going to be getting this one. And that is our Muffalo Shaman. And uh, then the War Mask. Let's have a look at you. An artistically terrifying War Mask hides the wearer's face and makes them more confident. Uh, does it actually do anything else? I mean, it gives me some protection. Covers head, eyes, left ear, right ear, nose, jaw. The more confident part. Maybe it's just you're more confident you're not going to get uh, your eyes or your ears lopped off. And a war veil. A war veil made out of a reinforced cloth torn to appear damaged in combat. Some believe this functions as a talisman of courage. Okay. Uh, three and three on blunt and sharp. What was the war mask again? Let's have a quick look at you. Five and ten. Hmm. Well... Everyone pretty much needs wool masks, but we'll make uh, a couple of each after we've made the bows. But uh, hopefully we can get those made quickly. Now, they're going to be preparing for a little while. Exotic goods trader from Witterbjorn. Caravan from Witterbjorn is approaching. They are exotic traders. They will hang around the colony for a few days before leaving. You can attack them, but this will anger their faction. No. What perfect timing. Ah, uh, they've clearly come to assist us. The gods are pleased with what we have done thus far and have sent us uh, allies for this coming battle. The allies might not realize that's what they're going to be doing, but that is what they're going to be doing. Will you kill a couple of the gazelles as they pass? No, no, they, they've decided that it's much more important to just straight up attack us at this point. Uh, okay, well, uh, before we allow that to happen, let's quickly set up this room. I really do need to uh, move away from wooden rooms as fast as I possibly can for fear of terrible Bernie death. Uh, not regular Bernie death, terrible Bernie death. That being said, one thing I would like to do is prepare this area for our fire pit. Of course, we're going to be having stone for the uh, for the fire pit. It makes sense. All right, everyone, group up and get down here. Ooh, Guanxian. Do you have... Uh, let's have a look at your character. You haven't got very good melee. What about Riceling? You have better uh, melee. So you can uh, have the Jade Knife and Guang Xian. You can go and grab the club, please. Go ahead, everyone. Running along means I should do a little bit more hunting. Actually, we've got some food out there. Uh, let's get everyone grouped together. We've got a couple of people around. Actually, who's our best talker? That would be Fillins. Though, once Ferret gets his war mask, it might change a little bit. Fillins, do you fancy doing a little bit of trading? You know, just to, just to show how unafraid we are of our opposition, we'll do a bit of trading right now. Uh, I could... No, I couldn't, but I could. But I can't. Wouldn't mind it, though. Uh, I wonder, what's the life expectancy on a, on a, a rhino? Uh, life expectancy, 45. Yeah, okay. That, that would be an impressive war animal. Uh, right, we can sell some of our simple meals, we can buy various things, a Mining Neuro Trainer, trainer Mech Serum. Uh, mining Neuro Trainer Mech Serum, a one use super dose of Mechanite, tuned to train a specific skill. The dose is administered through the orbit of the eye. Once released into the brain, the Mechanites quickly improve the subject's skills in a specific area, transmuting themselves into neural tissue as needed. A lung, bionic arm, a power claw, oh my lord. A triple rocket launcher, a poor one at that. Uh, oops, apparently, everything is awesome. Uh, okay, nothing we can really afford to buy, and nothing we really want to sell either. But it was worth having a quick, quick uh, look, all the same. Now we're going to totally allow these guys to to approach. Animals, though, I think I need you to be inside. So, animal area. Let's make sure that you are inside this building where you can eat 
but you are largely safe. There we are. That's animal area one. And I currently want all of my animals to be in animal area one. Go, go, go. Um, actually, you guys can hold there. There we go. go. Everyone is heading inside. Now then, let's uh, get people together. Ooh. Risling already had a revolver, my lord. Okay, equip the revolver. Oh, wait, actually. Risling. Yeah, you're much better with the knife. Equip the knife. Guang Xian, you get the revolver. Oh, that's an upgrade for you. Uh, okay, well, let's have everyone close together. The raiders are nearby. Lily is going to make her way over there. If you're going up and around, yes, you are. Okay, let's get into position. Uh, actually, Lily, you can hold there. Kuro back there. Avak over here. We'll hopefully see a bit of a fight taking place outside. Okay. Uh, where are you headed off to? I have no idea, but I'm not sure I like it. Uh, Avak, you can stand there on the heel route. Uh, the rest of my uh, tribes people move into position to attack. I mean, it's one thing accepting the aid of outside. It's another thing entirely to expect them to fight for us. That would not be honorable. We would not honor our ancestors that way no 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 in fact we would probably anger the gods and summon down more more death machines so let's let's not shall we let's uh let this happen oh no uh okay you are actually moving straight through fillings everyone stop where you are effectively and try and attack from there uh okay that is not great fillings is probably going to be a little bit more dangerous from where he is currently uh, we've got a couple of people moving through uh, Rifling. Head back down and attack there. Ferret, you can definitely go to where you were headed. Okay, come on. Some more shots, please. More shooting. Well done, Lily. Start firing all of the bullets, please, Lily. We know that you're good at that part. All right, one down. Oh, wow, that, that, that sounds like a heavy gun. I might have, uh, We might have wanted to uh, uh, name you Roland instead. Uh, all right, let's see. Okay, you've, you've got a couple of nasty wounds on you already. Let's actually have a look at the combat log. Uh, Kurosho bow hit red. The Lily hit red with an auto pistol bullet. Red hit Avak with a bash from his club, bashing his torso while laughing. How rude. Lily shot hit red. Avak shoved red with his spear's shaft, prodding his torso while wearing a savage look. Red smashed Avak with his club, clobbering his torso without emotion this time. He's realized that, that uh, Avak isn't an opponent to take lightly and has uh, given him respect by no longer mocking him whilst attacking. That, that, that's good. Okay, we'll, we'll definitely be burying you, Red. Uh, or maybe even recruiting you, perhaps. But let's have a look. Oof. Yeah, two hits on the torso. That is actually really nasty. Super nasty, in, in fact. Please take him down quickly. Uh, that needs to happen really fast. Okay. Avak, you need to bail. That is some nasty wounds you got there. None of them are bleeding, but your torso wound is something particularly dangerous. Lily, hop back in and... Head on over to the door over there, Kuro. We'll we'll try and lure them through. Okay. Uh, I'd like you to stop randomly shooting in that direction for now. Head on down here instead, if you would please. Uh, we've got... Actually, Guangxian, continue on your, your route. Uh, okay, they're going to go for it. Uh, we are going to need both of you to move in. And melee as soon as possible, please. It's kind of hard to select you right now. This is There is a lot of people here. Go ahead. Move in. Get in there. Attack. Please, as quickly as you can. Oh, no, don't shoot over the the uh, visitors, please. Just move in and attack. Fill-ins, get down there and melee attack as well. Let's have a look at your health. You're fine for now. We've got a couple of wounds inflicted, I believe. Now, you guys should be able to deal with this. Let's have a look. Ooh, that's kind of nasty, but okay. Fillins, let's have a look down there. Ferret is taking a hit. Uh, let's have a look at your health. It's cut from a short bow. Okay, pull back for a moment. Let's uh, let's double down on our, the advantage of the land that we've got here. Well done, and they are breaking. Fantastic. Let's have a look. Does anyone get any nasty wounds? Uh, you are bleeding. As are you. You're bleeding too. Ferret. Not too bad, actually. We've driven off the invaders. Unfortunately, 
too slow to be able to make use of all of the glorious, glorious food that basically just walked through our area here. Uh, okay, they're going to try to escape, but you can continue firing on them. Well done. Actually, continue to chase them down. If they have attacked, then then follow through. No, they, they're good for now. All right. We're going to need to get some, some rooms down. For the time being, I'm going to set up a couple of sleeping spots that will be used as... I know it's, it's terrible, but we need um, some medical beds, basically. Uh, all of those can be set to medical for the time being. They're, they're in better rooms than other places, basically, and that's, that's good enough for me. Uh, okay, Lily, you know what? Chase them down. You can use this as an opportunity to further increase your skill. Now then, we... Hmm. Have you got any good gear on you? No, you don't. Then you'll be buried in your in your uh, belongings. It's only right. Uh, we will take the steel equa. Now let's have a look at this. A short spear handle attached to a long bladed head designed to be driven into vital organs with a quick thrust. Oh, wonderful. Let's have a look at that. Melee damage per second, 4.86. Weapon melee bulk. Uh, weapon melee bulk. How difficult to wield a weapon is in close combat. Lighter ranged weapons will fire more often in melee. Oh, okay. That's uh, not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, we'll also grab this short bow. Sam, Sam, let's have a... Oh, sorry. Sam, let's have a look at you. What kind of gear have you got? Nothing particularly good, but... Ooh. Oh, now you're talking. You're incapable of caring, firefighting, or plant work. You are beautiful, nervous, and a prostophobe. Okay. You look like a potential. You're a misogynist, nervous, and a masochist. Not a nice connection of things there. You've got good crafting, but nothing that really makes you stand out, Trado. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, right. Guanxian, you're losing your bed. Uh, let's get another bed over here, then. In fact, we're also going to get in a second bed. Uh, do we have anyone particularly unhurt? Morphin is unhurt, actually. Drop that off, right. Please go and capture Trado. Guanxian, how badly wounded? You're not in an immediate danger. Wrestling. Yeah. Uh, actually, Avak would be the better one. Go and capture Sam, please. Then I really do want you guys to go and sit down for a little bit. Get your wounds sorted. Uh, we'll no longer forbid you. Uh, it's okay. Fine. They've gone away. Let them flee. If we had the opportunity to uh, capture them and release them, then we would have. And, and we're going to release Trado. We don't want them to join us. And it would be a, a gesture of, of reconciliation with the other tribe. As tribals have to stick together. There are too many uh, off-worlders around lately. Uh, please. Uh, actually, I would I would like you to be treated. So, go ahead. Treat yourselves first. Oh, ferret. Sorry about that. Go ahead. There we go. Everyone should be okay at this point. Now, have we got anyone who can treat? Who's still up? Lily can treat. Good. And what priority? You've got a priority of two. So, Lily should... Yes. You're actually tending one of the wounded. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to allow you to tend whoever you please at whatever speed you please. Actually, for now, I'm going to have Avak treat Guangxian. Let's get you uh, tending people. There we are. And everyone should be better soon. There we go. Well done. Now you can lie down. Who else have we got who can tend wounds? Guangxian can, actually. Guanxian, please tend to Avac. We need to get these wounds um, healed as fast as we can or risk a problem with infection, basically. There we go. Trado is no longer incapable of walking. Wonderful. Lily, what are you up to right now? Are you heading to bed? No, you're tending to fillings. Okay, good times. How is Ferret doing? Uh, Ferret's down there. Needs to be tended to. Uh, Trado, we're going to release you. Uh, you've been healed, so you can be released straight away, but Sam... Actually, which one of you was the easier? Trado was the easier to recruit. That doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, we'll get you set up, and we'll also build this plant pot in there. Early on, we're going to be quite uh, quite involved, and we're going to spend a lot of time over any particular fight that happens. 
Uh, there we are. Let's get you healed. Now, we are going to build a grave. I mean, personally, I would love a funeral pyre. Oh, that, that's, that's, a, that's a suggestion to any modders out there. Uh, some, some way for us to uh, send off the dead in, in a more traditional style. Early cremation, a funeral pyre to honor fallen warriors. A friendly AI from your past that, well, I already know this is a trap. There's no such thing as a friendly AI. Friendly blood machines? No. No, Charlton Whitestone, that sounds like a name that a trap would be set with. Some sort of almost human name. It's clearly off-world name regardless, but no, this is clearly a trap. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you its coordinates. Trap, absolutely. We would go there, the blood machines would be waiting. They've learned of our escape from God's wrath and worried of God's vengeance should they fail in their task to wipe us all out. They have laid a cunning trap, a clever ruse. The starship is currently in deep hibernation mode. Why would we want to leave our home? You have to start it up when you arrive, then defend it from raiders that are probably all machines that are currently burrowed under the ground, ready to pounce with blades and fire. Uh, if you can get the ship off the ground, Jalen will take you off this rim world to the stars. Literally, into the belly of a giant ball, uh, ball of flaming death. No, we're not going to do this. In fact, you have made a classic blunder. You've told us of your plans. It's not so much what you said, it's what you didn't say. We know where you are now. We're going to hunt you down. We will have vengeance. And we won't be leaving the plant, probably. Or at least anytime soon. Maybe eventually. Who knows? Maybe we will need to go to, to other worlds to, to, warn, to warn others of the terrible, terrible uh, danger that the, the mechanoids pose. Now, that seems quite fair. All right, let's have a quick look. Is everyone sorted now? Okay, your right leg is actually getting better. Pretty good. Uh, bandage quality, 52. Mm, oh, actually, bandage quality, 98. Wow, well done. Let me have a look at the hit points. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much fine at this point. Uh, you're... It's gonna take a while. Not the best of bandage qualities either, unfortunately. Uh, you're actually not too bad. Uh, you had your, your rib set. Well, well done. I approve. And uh, wrestling. Uh, you've had it set. 71%. Your, your heart was crushed? <laughs> you've got a sutured heart? My lord! Our, our knowledge of, of medicine is significantly higher than I first imagined it would be. Lily is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain social energy. Oh, this is fantastic. This is a party to celebrate our recent victory. Fillings, wake up. Fillings, wake up. Go to the party. Come on. Uh, Kuro, go to the party. There we go. Come on. We all need to go. This is important. We don't have uh, have any mead or, or uh, psychoid tea, which is terribly sad. But... You know, on the, on the plus side. Uh, Avak is in a bad mood. Why? Why am I there? Uh, had a nice chat, a deep talk with Riesling. What happened? Hideous environment! Insulted twice! Uh, hot, in a little pain. Oh, okay, oh, that's not so great. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna say that cleaning is actually a high priority right now. Let's get that done really quickly, those who do clean. Please sort this out, because it is a really, really big issue. There we go, because this place was pretty hideous, let's, let's be honest with ourselves. It's covered in blood. Uh, as much as, you know, uh, to be fair, if a party doesn't end up with the floor covered in blood, it's probably not much of a party, really, but... Uh, new lovers! Ferret and Raceling have come together and are now lovers! <gasps> How marvellous! Uh, Lily? Was it you who got rebuffed? I can't remember. I, 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 I don't know. I think Lily may have been rebuffed by Ferret. It just wasn't meant to be. But Riesling... Riesling... There's something exotic about Riesling. Yes. Yes, they... They, they, they speak of things that, that Ferret doesn't quite understand. But they, there's, there's a truth to it all the same. Oh, well done. Well done. This, this is a beautiful moment. Uh, and, of course, now, now I need a double. I need a double bedroll. Hmm. Do we have anything that will account for that. We do not. We're going to need... Well, you know, it's important, so we're going to do it. Uh, how, are you, how are you doing? Are you getting any better? Uh, the bruise is going down. We don't seem to have developed a, an infection, which is fantastic. Let's have a quick look at how everyone's mood is is at the moment. Quite a lot of people are good. Avak and Morvin and Lily, not so great. Uh, very ugly environment. Insulted. So, yeah, that's it's the ugly environment that's really pulling you. You were insulted four times? Wow. 
so so terrible. But it was a long time ago. Get over it. It's fine. It would set in anger. It was just a little bit of stress. Uh, mind you, we we haven't had the, the the proper proper rights to to put that that kind of insult under the bridge. We need we need a combat arena where where our people can settle their differences in time honored tradition. Uh, on the plus side, lots of food coming in just in time too. Uh, Farad, how is all of this going? Guashian has their um, their clothing now, which is great. Slept on the ground a couple of times, though, which is unfortunate. Uh, an unfinished wooden recurve bow. I wonder what we can make recurve bows out of. Let me just have a quick look at that. How does one make a recurve bow? Uh, it doesn't actually say I can make it out of anything else. Tribal hairdress, need 15 ingredients. Okay, that shouldn't actually be too hard. Uh, war veil. War mask. Someone has already got... Oh, Morphine has already picked up the war mask. Well played, Morphine. I approve. I approve greatly. Let's have a look at you now. Does that actually improve anything? Passion? No. Uh, passion? None. So I don't think it actually helps in any particular way. But you do look rather dapper with that on. It's a shoddy war mask, though. But uh, Beauty minus four. Flammability. Very flammable, to be fair. I mean, it's made of wood, I suppose. Pain, oh, offset when equipped. Pain shock threshold. Okay, now we're talking. Pain shock threshold, the point at which this creature is downed from pain. Nice. So it does make you more confident. In the same way that uh, drinking woad made people more confident. I, it kind of, it kind of fuzzed the, the, the signals the brain was making. Made them a little bit mad. In the sort of, ah, oh, I'm going to run down the hill covered in nothing but my birthday suit and some blue spirals wielding an axe, screaming at the top of my lungs and scaring English soldiers away. Or Roman soldiers. Either one, really. One or t'other. Practically the same as, as far as the Welsh are concerned. I think both of them were invaders. Ah, scallywags. Villains, please please don't hunt over Avak. I know he's he's got that war mask, but that doesn't mean you can just throw caution to the wind. My lord. Uh, we'll also get... Was there another boar of it? Ooh, Timberwolf. A little bit concerned, I'll be honest with you. A little bit concerned. Uh, in fact, concerned enough that we may have to deal with that. Avak, how are you health-wise? You're actually pretty good. Avak is also now wielding the Steel Iqua. Um, disabled Avak is not drafted. That is fine. We've got quite a few people now wearing wearing war masks. I don't know what the... the uh, what veils are like yet. We will find out reasonably soon though i'm hoping uh in terms of the the tribal headdress it looks like oh very specific things cloth ah it needs needs a form of cloth not leather that makes sense and the veil much the same so we are going to definitely need to get that kind of thing whereas we can use leathers over here um do until you have one always have at least one in the stockpile. I don't want more than that. Uh, Trouble headdress, we only really need one. But in terms of the war mask, do until you have one once again. We only really need one to be available at any particular time. There we go. And do until you have one war veil as well. The recurve bows and uh, clubs and that sort of thing, we'll make as we need. Uh, for now, that's good enough, I think. Uh, hopefully we can get some more pig leather though and we can make some better bears. In fact, the, all these areas need a lot of work. We've got a couple of graves prepared now. Uh, on the whole, fairly happy with how that went down. How is Sam doing? Uh, you're recovering. It's not great. Honestly, I'd really love it if someone would go in there and clean this area up. Is that not part of the home zone? No, it's not. Okay. Let's, oh, wow. Nor is this. That was a massive oversight on my part. Let me uh, correct this problem quickly. There we go. Then I'm actually, once I've done this, I'm immediately going to turn down the priority of cleaning uh, because that is way too high right now. Way, way too high. It was good enough to get the important stuff done quickly. There we go. But uh, beyond that, we don't really, really need it. Food-wise, we're doing pretty good. How long do potatoes last? Yeah, quadrum. Uh, that's pretty solid, honestly. Uh, I'm fairly happy with that, actually. Go ahead and make uh, a bunch of meals. We've got plenty of simple meals. Prepare plenty of uh, pemmican, if possible, because this will last for a long time. And it Ooh, we've got another raid! A group of pirates from the Dark Killers have arrived nearby. They're attacking immediately. 
<gasps> oh, well, okay. This is a bit of a more dangerous attack force. We have cleared out some of the stuff around, but let's have a quick look at what we're going to be facing. We're going to be facing someone with a revolver. Someone with a... Let's have a look. What is it? You, a machine pistol. Uh, they are... By far and away, more focused on range. That tells me we need to be a lot more focused on melee and pulling them into bottlenecks and, and taking care of them that way. We will use our defenses to our, to the best of our ability, but this is going to be a tough fight. And I think, at that point, we're going to leave this until the next episode because I'm kind of evil sometimes. But I do hope you've enjoyed this one and you are looking forward to finding out the conclusion of this battle in the next. Will we still have everyone that we've got right now or are we about to lose someone? Uh, on that note, do remember if you're interested in claiming Raisling as your own, then post your name suggestion in the comments below. But until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.